Chris Jones, fake reported to have signed back with the Kansas City Chiefs. This came after a Chris Jones, Stone Cold Jones uh, tweet on X with a picture of Andy Reid celebrating with him after a Super Bowl, a phone call that has lasted an hour, if you see on the top of the screen there, and then him saying, KC, dot, 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 dot. I immediately thought, oh, this means he is back with the Kansas City Chiefs. A deal has been done mm -hmm. hour long. They have agreed to terms here. But it also could have been a little, this could be a little public leverage play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This could be a little public leverage play oh, by okay. Chris Jones now that it hasn't been officially announced because there was a couple of fake reports. McCockners all over the internet were reporting a deal was done. And a lot of people around the NFL who have uh, interest in defensive line deals, Cam Hayward celebrated, Michael Parsons celebrated. Obviously, they're directly affected by somebody who's considered the best in the game, getting a brand new contract. There's a new market so i think i believe that my initial reaction was a deal is done or close to getting done between the chiefs and stone cold jones who's a game wrecker not only because of the drunk speech but also because of the photo but now as time continues to roll out without anything being officially announced other than a, McC a mccockner or two or a schnefter mm -hmm. or two it's like was that a leverage play where are we what do you think aj what are your thoughts on this entire thing Man, I don't know. I, I assumed it was done or it was very, very close to being done. I wonder what could be like the, the final hangup. But do we have any idea what the numbers might look like on this deal? It will be a hometown discount, too. Like, you know, because Chris Jones, he could hit the market. Yep. And remember, he. Wait, so can they? They can't tag him, obviously. No, because right? they can tag Sneed. So, so man, why, why wouldn't he? Man, if they let him hit the market, he's going to get monster offers. Which I would assume, you know, his agents, the Katz brothers, good, they're good agents. Good people. They're humans, though, too. Like, they're humans. Like, yeah. I've enjoyed my interactions with them every single time that I've chatted with them. And uh, I forget which one, that, but one of them tweeted during the parade. Yes. Like, hey, caught him off mm -hmm. while he's giving the speech. about cut. Like, that's self-awareness. Like, I, I enjoy that type of stuff. But I assume there's people telling him, like, hey, if you were to hit the market, you weren't able to last year. If you were to hit the market, we feel like there's a big, big upside for you. Like, we're just doing our job telling you that this could happen. But Chris Jones probably, I'm hoping at least for the sake of just like everything we know about Chris Jones and not saying it's the right thing and he has to do this, but just like the feeling we have is like, seems like I get a sense he wants to be a part of like, yeah what they're doing mm -hmm. yeah. you know like going back to back to back has never happened you heard Patrick Mahomes literally say that two days after or literally immediately after the Super Bowl was like nobody's ever won three in a row ever in the history it's like that's immortality you know that's the 72 Dolphins who go undefeated who still pop bottles it's like doing something has never been done before can be very motivating will that motivate Chris Jones and potentially take less money than he's obviously able to get out if he was to go see the market i assume that's the conversation that's taking place you know at some point in there probably seeing his agent at the combine probably talking to other teams getting an idea hey what could you what would you offer us you know if we hit the market what would you offer chris what's what do you have in mind and then trying to compare that to whatever the chiefs are offering him, i guess and seeing hey is it worth it because he's definitely going, going to take a little less money if he stays in kansas city than if he hits the open market we know that but Seems like he wants to win. So Go ahead, Aaron Donald is in a league of his own. He got he's getting thirty one six a year. Um, but then Quentin Williams is second. He got paid last season. He's getting twenty four a year. Jeff Simmons is getting twenty three five a year. Deron Payne is getting twenty two five a year. So it would have to be at least twenty something. It's gonna, yes. it's gotta be twenty five oh. probably, right? If I mean if Quentin Williams just got twenty four last year. Yeah, but and Aaron's getting thirty one. It's gotta be But if they baby faced and said he took a hometown discount, sure. like mm -hmm. twenty feels like the number if you're hometown discounting it. Like 15 is way too low. Yep. Yep. That would be 9 million less than Quinn. That would be way too much. Hargrave got 21 last year when he went to the Niners. And what was Wilkins looking for? What was the number? Oh, it yeah. was like 21 oh. or whatever that they couldn't get too. to because he's probably going to get the 25 or the mm -hmm. Quinn. And Wilkins number. is hoping like Hill that Chris Jones signs back with Kansas City. Yes. Yes, <laughs> well, yes. yes he is. It, or maybe, you know, Tyron Matthew leaves. They bring in Sneed. Like, yeah. true. The they, Chiefs have true. in the past been like one yep. vet. For sure. another, you know, and, and kind of. How many of, years has Chris Jones played? Great question. I, I'm trying to think back to when I saw him run at 40. And him yeah, and that. I remember that 40. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. 29 years old. I mean, he was <laughs> six. I've never seen somebody was, get weighed down from the middle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. That was amazing. What about Chris Jones? What's going to happen with him in uh, Kansas City? We we thought a deal may be close to being done. Are we are we correct in that? And also, haircut looks sweet. I, I barely recognize you, man. Yeah, McCockner. You know what? 
I appreciate AJ. You've always been, you know, obviously my favorite of, of all you guys. I think everyone, I think that's been clear. Um, I really <laughs> Shut up, rap. I think that's been obvious. But anyway, um, what else? Oh, Chris Jones, yes. What, did you just um, lose your train of thought? No, AJ dude, complimented you. Smooching too much butt over there. Huh? What the hell's going on? Jeez. You can't, you <laughs> anyway, know? Um, I would say Chris Jones is. Come on for air. The deal is not done. I do not get the sense okay. the deal is done. But it's a lot more positive now than it's been maybe in his previous negotiations. Like, I get the sense the communication between Chris Jones and the Cats bros, his agents, and the Chiefs is positive and productive. Like, will that lead to a deal before free agency? I don't know. Sometimes guys like to see what's out there. But it does seem a deal is at least possible or within reach. And this is one of those to me where, like, like I was watching the Mike Evans press conference. Uh, earlier today. Jason Light's up there and Mike Evans, and they're talking about the good feeling and like he's finishing his career as a member of the Bucks, And that all feels good and great players finishing their career with the team who drafted him is awesome. Like this would be great for Chris Jones. And the Chiefs seem willing to pay for it. They really seem willing to put forth the commitment. So to me, if it gets done, it would certainly make a lot of sense. So I think what we read earlier was Aaron Donald's at like 31. I think somebody signed at 24 last year. I think yeah. Margrave was at 21 maybe whenever he went out to San yeah. Fran. So if he was to give a hometown discount to stay in Kansas City because, you know, he wants to hunt and be a part of the entirety of the dynasty and everything like that. Are we talking like $20 million a year here, $24 billion a year here? What do you think he's looking for when it comes to oh, the I money? Think more- I think as close to Aaron Donald as he can get. And, and reality oh, okay. is like, oh, shit. The And the Chiefs played, are going to pay that? I think the Chiefs are going to pay that. And, I, you know, wow, are they going to get to awesome. 30? I, I don't know if they're going to get to 30. I don't know. But that's what these, like, super elite, you know, defenders make. I mean, I know he's not a pass rusher, but he certainly affects the quarterback as much as any of them and affects mm-hmm. everything. I mean, Absolutely. clips you're showing are like a joke. Like, he is – I mean, he's awesome. So – that's what these guys make. I mean, Nick Bost is at 34. So if you told me Chris Jones came in at 30, I'd say, like, probably pretty good. Like, uh, yeah, I'd say, and I thought if he wants to get to a market, that 35 number probably maybe even creeps in for a team yeah, that loves I, I think Chris maybe, Jones. yeah. So there will be a yeah. little bit of a discount. I didn't expect it to be that much because Aaron Donald, you know, is up there in his own world whenever it comes to tackle. So I'm fascinated to see how it goes. He can come to the Colts if he wants to. Just, sure. just want to let him know that. But if he does end up at the Chiefs, It'll be a beautiful story for the Kansas City mm-hmm. Chiefs hitting on do? yet another homegrown product. Travis Kelsey, Patrick Mahomes, Wide. Chris Jones. Wide. You know, a lot of homegrown winning happening there in Kansas City. 